so they introduced a rapper. <laughs> And the the rapper whose name I can't pronounce or spell, I've never heard of. Obviously, I don't know if it's my demographic. But uh, he welcomed us to SmackDown and didn't do a bad job. And apparently, is he somebody, oh, oh, music guru? You know, I had the open on mute, so I saw him, but I'm not exactly sure who it was. But they were in Miami, so I'm guessing it's someone who uh, really has the beat. Well seen, but now you're starting to show your age a little bit, just that you don't know all of these people from sight. Because I go based on ear. You're talking music. I'm not like you, a superficial music fan, who I care about what the people look like. I care about the sound and the song. No, but yeah, what I'm saying, you rec you would recognize who this was if this was a person who you knew it was who. This was a person so talented in their craft that their image doesn't matter. It's about <laughs> what's happening on the record. That's what I'm oh. saying. Well, on the record, for the record, what was happening here was he welcomed us to SmackDown and introduced Randy Orton. And here came Randy, and apparently Randy is in this guy's music video. Uh, and he has done some tribute to the RKO or something. But anyway, Orton cut a promo on the bloodline, and he knows what he sounds like. He means what he says because he understands the importance of either doing in the ring or saying something in a promo that sounds half-ass real and convincing or just don't do that. So he talks in a way that he can talk and sound half-ass real and convincing. Wonder where he learned those type of things from. But anyway, um, so he, of course, is vowing to beat Roman Reigns at the Royal Rumble, and he'll be a 15-time world champion. And suddenly AJ's music plays and he cuts the, and here we go. I think this is AJ's downfall from being, it, it, when it's Roman and it's Orton and right now it's LA Knight and it's AJ, AJ's kind of fucking Zeppo, isn't he? Cause, and well, no, I, Zeppo became a very successful talent manager. I don't think that's AJ at all. Well, yeah, now, come on now. We don't know what he's going to do later on. His wife he's left still, him for uh, Frank Sinatra. He's still... Uh, AJ's? Uh, no, uh, Zeppo. Oh, oh, all right. Well, we don't know what AJ's got a chance to do later on. He could become a great agent or potentially, you know, fuck Frank Sinatra's wife. I don't know. There's still time, I guess. I mean, there has to be someone There's, out there. Mia Farrow's out there. Well, there you go. I knew that he, he had at least one living ex-spousal person yeah because he married her of, when she was 19 but anyway go ahead well but that's legal point he i was, was like made. 55 years old but go ahead oh let's not even get into this <laughs> goddamn <discussion. laughs> in light of recent events what i'm saying to you is that aj's phenomenal in the ring and he's better verbally than he was in the tna days but i think his his level of conviction and delivery and just whatever is uh, that I think is what uh, is his shortcoming. But thankfully LA Knight's music played and he got a big pop and he livened the thing up and the crowd was chanting his shit and he cut a good promo on AJ and this is all about, you know, who's going to be the one to dethrone Roman, but L.A. Knight cut the fucking promo and said, and that's a fact of life, and he tossed the microphone down and walked off on him, and there's A.J. and Orton with their mouths open, and suddenly A.J. just flips upside down and just sucker kicks Orton in again and leaves him laying there and walks off. So, and uh, that's basically, they, they wanted to cover that match, they wanted to cover a couple of other things, on SmackDown here, the matches were secondary, even more, more so than usual, I think. And maybe, it, was this a good fucking week for it anyway? Just keep them talking so they, the crowd doesn't start chanting amongst themselves. I guess. I mean, with this thing specifically, I feel like the segments with the intrigue about who's doing what to who here and Randy Orton getting the, the moments where they just show him looking on, not knowing what to do, but he doesn't really say anything. <laughs> it's a lot more interesting than the actual match. Yeah. 